Did you see this attack ad? Oh, I did see this. This is phenomenal. This is incredible. Oh my God. Fingers where they don't belong. And we're not just talking about pudding. DeSantis has his dirty fingers all over senior entitlements. Like cutting Medicare, slashing Social Security, even raising our retirement age. Tell Ron DeSantis to keep his pudding fingers off our money. Oh, and somebody get this man a spoon. Make America Great Again Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertisement. Ron. Okay, so it's like a Trump adjacent thing. Absolutely incredible. It's actually a well made ad. Ron DeSantis has no chance against Trump. It's so over. It's so Jover. It's Jover. There's no way. He is not capable. Who was that guy who just yesterday said that after much deliberation and prayer, he would not be running for president in 2024? Nobody but Donald Trump is capable of winning in, in 2024 for the um for, for the Republican primary. Pompeo? Got it, Mike Pompeo. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's Jover. There's no way. Do you think Trump would create a third party if he didn't get elected? No, there's no shot. Because he's going he cannot lose the primary. DeSantis has been trying to, yeah, DeSantis is so mad. The, the institutional GOP wants DeSantis to be the front runner so badly, and they just cannot pull ahead of the psychotic Trump support. He doesn't have the charisma. Ron DeSantis' team tries to stop Florida Republicans from endorsing Trump. The governor's team has reached out to at least six Florida congressional Republicans over the past week to try to stop the bleeding. Ooh, it hurts. It's over. Oh, man. Yeah, he, he's Rizless, it's true. Imagine, since 2020, being celebrated as the guy who made Florida, like, the epicenter of American fascism, and then Republicans from within your own state are still going out from under your back to endorse Trump. Disgusting. Oh, my, it, I almost feel bad for him. I don't, because he's not even a human, but, you know. Fine. Exclusive new NBC News reporting showing the political team of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has tried to stop members of Florida's congressional delegation from endorsing Donald Trump. Sources close to four of the six Florida congressmen his team contacted now confirm the outreach to NBC News. It, it, it was it completely meant to stop the bleed because as of right now, President Trump has four congressional endorsements in Ron DeSantis' backyard. That has been noticed by, by Governor DeSantis. It's so embarrassing. It actually, it reminds me of how uh, Elizabeth Warren didn't even win her own state. You know what I mean? Oh, man. DeSantis by his team, and that's what prompted these phone calls. DeSantis. Do you think it's better for Trump to win than DeSantis? Yes, I'm a MAGA communist. Has not yet officially announced a White House run, but his super PAC releasing its first national ad today. Freedom is here to stay. It all comes just days after Trump secured a key endorsement. Florida Congressman Byron Donald apparently snubbing the man who poured billions of dollars into his district in the wake Ooh. of Hurricane Ian last fall. America's governor, Ron DeSantis. Donald is now backing DeSantis's chief rival. Who's the person that can go on the world stage with China, with Russia, and say, America is now back, and here's what we're going to do. It's Donald Trump. Trump scoring the... God, it's... We, we uh, honest to God, we might as well not even talk about DeSantis as a presidential candidate anymore. I'm not kidding. I, I genuinely think we can just... Uh, we can just continue to refer to him as, like, the Florida governor and, like, let it be that. I, I, it's, it's so Jover. Uh, yeah, I... It, it's embarrassing. They, I don't even know. He at at this point, there is a small but not non-existent chance that DeSantis just never officially announces he's running. Like he might just recognize that this is an unwinnable battle and that it would just you know like the it, it just take away from his other political efforts. It might actually be a smart move at this point. This is the worst W we've ever taken. Hey, MAGA communism, okay? The endorsement amid historic legal scrutiny, just last week becoming the first former president ever indicted. And today, returning to New York for a deposition in a multi-million dollar civil suit brought by New York Attorney General Letitia James, alleging Trump and his namesake company orchestrated a massive fraud scheme over 10 years, which Trump denies. While it's still very early in the GOP primary race, the gap between Trump and DeSantis is widening. Ron DeSanctimonious is being crushed in the polls. Last month, one poll had DeSantis within 14 percentage points of Trump. Now, after Trump's indictment, the former president is up by 37. Oh.
DeSantis' new outreach to Florida Republicans also comes as Trump repeatedly slams him on the campaign trail and goes after him in a national ad blitz. The more you learn about DeSantis, the more you see he doesn't share our values. And while DeSantis has tried to keep his distance, he raised eyebrows last month when asked about the New York grand jury investigation into hush money Trump allegedly paid to Stormy Daniels. I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star. It's a far cry. It was so weak right? when he when he was like, um, yeah, well, I, you know, whatever. Some people, money, porn star, haha, <laughs> who knows? But and, and then like Donald Trump will just call him Meatball Ron and instantly every cell in DeSantis's body will explode. Um, you know, the passive aggressiveness just doesn't work against Trump because he's too confident. He has that in spades, at least the projection of confidence. Yeah, it's it's Jover. I don't know. I, I I feel like the Republican institution, the GOP, which has always been far more receptive to the will of its voter base than the Democrats uh, have want. They want DeSantis to win because DeSantis is a lot easier to control than Donald Trump is. Donald Trump just wants applause. He's stupid. He's arrogant. He's impatient. And he's a megalomaniac, you know, whereas DeSantis is an evil lizard person. But Donald Trump is much more difficult to control. Can you imagine Donald Trump being sat down by like the big boys at the GOP and them going like, hey, yeah, listen, you need to do this, that, the other. Do you think he'd listen? Maybe, maybe he'd go like, oh uh, yeah, sure. Okay. And then he would just go out and just do whatever he wanted again. Like he wouldn't, he's not, he's not going to engage with that. DeSantis might, because DeSantis is a, is a strategist, but you know, um, th this is why I'm a MAGA communist, you see. I, uh, I, I just, I don't think Trump is anywhere near as evil as DeSantis. I think DeSantis is a lot more politically effective. Um, but one thing that's really biting the GOP in the ass here is that in order to vote Republican, you have to be retarded. He, pro he projects that stupid monkey brain poor man's idea of a rich man, insecure man's idea of a confident man, vision that is captivating to the low IQ. And DeSantis just does not, does not offer that. You have to make a cerebral argument for DeSantis. You have to sit a Republican down and go, okay, well, DeSantis has been more effective at pushing Republican policy. And the average GOP voter would go, policy? What? What? And then they would like drool and start slamming like a square block against a round hole. It, it, you know, you, 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 it's, it's not going to be effective there. Yeah, DeSantis is more of a politician. He's not as capable of affecting that phony populism that Donald Trump is so good with. He's not big, funny orange man. Hi, from a few years ago. Ron DeSantis for governor. He's going to be a great, great governor. Ron, come on up. Trump putting DeSantis on the political map with a long shot endorsement in his 2018 bid for Florida governor. Build the wall. Now, the wall is growing higher between these two men as the fight for the future of the GOP ramps up. All right, Gabe Gutierrez joins us now. Gabe, besides. Okay, that's just, this is just the talking head bit. Yeah. I'm very heartened by Donald Trump doing better. Um, you know, the prominence of DeSantis would be really bad i'm worried we're not going to see trump destroys desantis in the debates oh no 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 assuming desantis even runs officially desantis has no chance against trump absolutely none do you thump do you think trump would lead desantis alone if desantis concedes before the general actually no if desantis well desantis can't concede because desantis hasn't announced he's running yet but if desantis didn't run i still think trump would bully him like forever when has Trump ever let shit like that go, you know? Just he doesn't. Vosh, Trump has ramped up his anti-trans rhetoric massively. DeSantis is not worse. No, 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 no. You're totally off on this. First of all, DeSantis is a much more effective politician. Even if the rhetoric is the same, uh, DeSantis is much better at navigating the system to get what he wants done. Second of all, the rhetoric isn't the same. Donald Trump is only anti-trans because some strategist sat him down and told him to be, okay? They, they gave him a list of talking points and said, if you say stuff like this, the audience will applaud, all right? DeSantis personally wants to torture and kill you. Huge difference. I don't think 
Donald Trump is transphobic because I don't think Donald Trump knows what trans people are. I don't think he has the cognitive energy to conceptualize transgender people. And I think that his ire towards them is more of a generalized disdain for things that aren't him, you know? Um, but I think he would probably feel the same way about, I don't know, Italians. I, I genuinely don't think he operates on that level. I think that Donald Trump, uh, like, overwhelmingly is just an egomaniac who wants to hear applause. I don't think DeSantis cares. DeSantis, my man over there, my man was at Gitmo laughing as uh, feeder tubes were pumped down the throats of, of Gitmo detainees. You know, he doesn't need to be in the spotlight. He just wants to see you suffer. But for Donald Trump, I don't think he has the discipline to carry a reactionary message forward that effectively. You know what I mean? Think back to the last time Donald Trump was president. Did he do a lot of bad stuff? Yeah, of course he did. A lot of bad stuff to trans people as well. But he was never that committed to the bit, was he? He randomly had trans people banned from the military, but it wasn't really accompanied with a disciplined or consistent message against trans people. He just did it. And he justified it with transphobia, sure. But it wasn't really like a part of a structured plan. He just did a thing. You know what I mean? I think DeSantis would have been able to much more effectively layer these culture war victories on top of each other to build a narrative. Does that make sense? I think Donald Trump just chases the applause of the moment. I think that the bad stuff that he does is an attempt to get that applause, and I don't think he has the temperance or the patience to effectively chain these things together to get a really effective like blow against his opponents. This is not me saying he's not bad. He's terrible. He is, okay? He's a fascist. I'm not... It's not a defense of the man. I just think that DeSantis is a lot more effective at, uh, at, at, at you know, getting all this done. Yeah, we should always remember that the uh, innate anti-empiricism and fascism, or sorry, the, the innate anti-empiricism of fascism always comes back to bite it, you know? The upper leadership of the Nazi party were full of meth fiends. They were lunatics and it bit them in the ass. You know, it, it, it hampered their ability to effectively lead their country. And likewise, you know, the further right we go in the GOP leadership, the more likely they are to cripple their own plans. Arska Karva, I think, has it good here. The difference is that Trump is only an instinctual fascist, but DeSantis is an ideological fascist. That's, I think that's a good point. If you could get them in like the truth chamber where you could really have a conversation with them, I think that Trump's fascist instincts and behavior are entirely like a gut emotion. Uh, this is just what he has defaulted to because his lizard brain has pulled him in this direction. Ideologically, I don't think he would be even interested in defending a lot of the stuff that he believes. I think he believes it because he believes it. If there was, if you got him in the truth chamber, I think it would just be empty. He would, he would just be like a lonely, insecure man. I think if you got DeSantis in the truth chamber, he would present an intellectual defense for fascism. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't agree with it. I think it'd be a bad defense, but I think he'd try. I think he would, like, you would argue, in, you, you would, you would get him to argue his points, and he would try to explain why white supremacy and anti-democracy are necessary, like why they're morally right. And I don't think Trump would do that. I don't think he would. I, I don't think Donald Trump could ever give a coherent defense of white supremacy besides like maybe a couple of lines he ripped from what he heard from his dad back in like the 70s or something, or I don't know. Um, I don't think he's committed much thought to it. You all get my point. That's why I'm a MAGA communist. I wonder if there will be a wave of media liberals in 2024 that'll argue for DeSantis in the primary just because they hate Trump so much and can't recognize DeSantis is more dangerous. Yeah, you think like the civility liberals would be like, well, at least DeSantis knows how to say please and thank you. Yeah, that kind of thing. That'd be good.